we're going to discuss data capture tool which is Hubdoc and Zero. In this webinar, we will learn what is Hubdoc, how to set up Hubdoc, how to use Hubdoc with Zero, and more features that will help you optimize your use of Zero accounting software. What is Hubdoc? And let us understand how Hubdoc works. Hubdoc is a data capture tool which extracts key data from documents, then creates transaction in zero. With Hubdoc, you can email bills and receipts straight into your Hubdoc organization. You can use the mobile app to upload a photo. You can also set up automated connection. So every time you get a bill from a particular supplier, it goes straight into Hubdoc. As soon as Hubdoc receives a document, it extracts the key data such as contact, date, and amount of the bill or to the particular document. When you publish the document, Zero creates the invoice or the bill or credit note or spend money transaction with a copy of the document attached. You can set up Hubdoc to automate every step. So all you need to do is reconcile the transaction against your bank statement line in zero. This is particularly useful if you get regular bills from the same supplier. Hubdoc also stores documents so you don't need to keep paper copies of bills and receipts. You can organize the documents in Hubdoc using tags and folders or send them to another cloud storage your business might use such as Dropbox or Google Drive. Like Zero, you can invite your accountant or bookkeeper or a team member into your Hubdoc organization and decide how much access you want them to have. How to set up Hubdoc and how we can use Hubdoc and Zero together. If your Zero organization is on a business edition pricing plan, Hubdoc is included in your Zero subscription. If your Zero organization is on a partner edition pricing plan, you can still connect it to Hubdoc, but Hubdoc is not included in Zero, so you will be billed separately. Hubdoc and Zero connect on a one-to-one -one basis. So if you have multiple Hubdoc organizations, you need to connect each one to a separate Zero organization. How can we set up Hubdoc? Setting up Hubdoc is very easy and very straightforward. You can log into your Zero organization and click the organization name. Then head over and select Hubdoc. Once you select Hubdoc, you will be redirected to agree to the Hubdoc terms of use, privacy policy, and ownership terms. Then you can click set up Hubdoc and select I am new to Hubdoc, then click small business and then after that you will be asked to select the Siri organization you want to connect then click allow access once you click allow access to enable the SSO and activate your organization your Zero and Hubdoc organization are now connected which means you can publish documents from Hubdoc and automatically creates transaction in Zero. SSO is also enabled so the next time you log in to hubdoc from zero you can click sign in with zero to go straight to your hubdoc dashboard so since i have already created the hubdoc organization once i click hubdoc it will be redirected to log in to your organization now i'll choose to sign in with zero but while waiting for the system to load 
Have a think about your organization or your clients. Have you received or chased bills through email? Are some bills given to you physically? Does the organization or your client have any receipts? The answer is yes. But how do you get that information to zero? By doing it manually, of course. But you can say goodbye to chasing documents and manual data entry and say hello to increase productivity and automation with Hubdoc. Now let's head over to Hubdoc and get started with converting or turning paperwork into usable data. As I mentioned earlier, Hubdoc extracts key information from your receipts voices and bills but how do you get these documents into hubdoc there are many ways to get your documents into hubdoc the first one is you can download the hubdoc application or the mobile hubdoc application and simply take a photo of your receipt invoice or bill with the mobile app and hubdoc scans extracts and stores your documents and will be ready to publish with your accounting software. The second one is email. So each Hubdoc organization has its own unique email address that you can submit by email. So you can copy that email to your clipboard and use that um, unique email to submit documents to your Hubdoc organization. The third one is you can upload documents stored in your computer or in your G Drive. You can select and drop your files to add them directly into Hubdoc. So you can upload documents by selecting individual files or selecting a multiple files to upload in bulk. You can also upload multiple page PDF and Hubdoc will automatically split those multi-page individually and split into a separate documents one document per page and also by adding an automated account connection so you can connect with your supplier banks and financial institution to automatically import recurring documents into hubdoc now let's proceed on submitting the document manually into the system so how can you upload document manually into hubdoc you can click upload document you can select from standard or multi-page pdf split you can choose multiple page pdf when you are uploading a one file with multiple pages So you can drag and drop files directly to upload or submit documents manually into Hubdoc. So once the upload is completed, you will see that directly into your Hubdoc organization. So as you can see, this uh, clock icon means Hubdoc is in progress of processing or extracting the information from these bills or invoices so some of them is being captured or extracted almost real time and some of them is already posted so let me discuss this further later how does it work how does hubdoc process and post or publish information from hubdoc to zero once the document upload is completed hubdoc will start to work its magic hubdoc will start to read the receipts or documents and start capturing the key information that zero needs by the way only subscribers of the zero organization and practice admin can add and integrate hubdoc to zero all right on the left hand side of the screen is the document storage part so hubdoc will create automatically a folder for each supplier and not only that Hubdoc will arrange the files under that folder. You can also select a folder and search by the following. For example, you can search by date, by an amount, or of course, the supplier name is you already selected that folder. You can search by words or 
by document type. You can also search all throughout the document folders by clicking the advanced search and you will be able to search throughout all the document folders. Hubdoc is a, a great place to store all your documents you receive. You can also add a folder manually if for example, if we are uploading a different type of document that doesn't necessarily be posted to zero. For example, your trade license or legal document or staff documents. You can also use Habdoc for that to store documents. You can also download all the files and export to a CSV file. So how can you do that? You will be able to do that by selecting all the documents and click the arrow down and it will give you the option to download all the files or export your file into a CSV file format. The middle screen is the document area. So once you upload, regardless if you upload the document manually into the system or by sending the document via email or via Habdoc application, it will be listed in the first tab which is the all documents all documents will be uploaded or listed in the first tab with the graphic presentation so once you uploaded the files the status will be showing here is processing which displays the blue clock this indicates that the document is undergoing hubdocs data extraction process this can take from a couple of minutes to 24 hours depending on the size of the queue of the documents that need to be processed the second one is review yellow triangle this indicates that the document is in the review phase and needs your attention this will be read if hubdoc isn't able to connect to your one of your accounts such as bank account or a supplier it will also display the do not enter icon that means that the document has failed during the data extraction process or failed to publish successfully to an integration such as your zero accounting software or one of the document storage platform if you have back up your files to google drive or dropbox it will also display the check icon or the green check mark this indicates that the document has been archived or posted or the document has successfully been published to a downstream integration or both for example if you have successfully posted this particular document into your accounting software so as you can see this rta is already posted we will discuss deeper later on regarding on the automation of the posting from hubdoc to zero these documents also can be fine on the different tab depends on the the status of the document for example processing so all the new uploaded document will be listed under the processing when hubdoc starts extracting the key information for that document so once the information is extracted from that document it will be available for review and from here you will be able to code and create rules to automate how this document will be published or posted to your zero accounting software so every time you will upload a document to the same supplier it will remember how you code it before and will automate the process once the hubdoc captures the key information from that document it will be automatically posted to your zero accounting software what will happen to the document that has failed during the extraction process or failed to publish to an integration? It will be listed on the failed tab. And once you successfully coded and published the document, it will be listed on the archive, meaning it is completely posted to your third-party application. As I mentioned earlier, when you are uploading a document for the first time to a particular supplier, you need to code or create a rule so that Habdoc will learn and recognize this information to automate the process of publishing transaction from Habdoc to zero. Now let's head over to the document that we uploaded that is ready for review. And see how Habdoc extract the key information. You can hover the mouse to the right hand side of your screen and pop it out and start your coding. 
So what is the key information that Habdoc needs to capture? So as you can see, the field with asterisk is the key information that needs to be captured by Habdoc. Otherwise, it will fall on the failed tab. So what will happen in the failed tab, you can still manually input those missing information and manually publish the document or the transaction from Habdoc to zero. From here, you can start your coding and Habdoc will learn from the information and use this information to automate this supplier every time you upload a document. From here, you can start reviewing the information that the Habdoc captures. So you can choose a document type, a supplier name, and you can also add invoice number. The same with the due date. And after that, you need to check this information before proceeding on going to configure how it will be posted in your zero accounting software. Once you verify the information, you can proceed and configure how it will be posted. So you can select from, from the following purchase order, spend money, invoice, or credit note. You will be able to define what is the status of this particular transaction once it will be published in your zero. So you can choose from draft, waiting for approval, or awaiting for payment. You need to set also the contact of this supplier to your zero organization and you should also select what is the relevant account for this expense then you can add your description to this particular bill once again you need to review the information before you proceed publishing the information from your zero accounting software so you need to check and save your configuration and also select the auto sync so for the next time you upload a document to the same supplier this will automate and remember the information so the next time you upload a document or a purchase order from Almaya supermarket it will recognize that this document is a purchase order under Almaya supermarket it will capture also the document date and the amount of the document and once it will be posted to your zero accounting software, it will be published as purchase with a draft status under the Almaya supermarket contact with the account code of pantry supplies and description of pantry supplies. So once you publish this information, Habdoc will remember and use this information for the automation. What will happen if we click the publish all? Habdoc will create a new transaction in zero using the data from the document. If the document size is under 3 megabytes, zero will attach this document to the transaction. And if the document is larger than 3 megabytes, it will just show as a link rather than the attachment. Once also we click the publish all, it will save the configuration in zero. So it will save the configuration and will capture the information that will be used for the automation later on. Habdoc also capture if the document has duplicate. For example, if we already posted this document before, so Habdoc captures the potential duplicate document. So Habdoc also warn users or the accountant or bookkeepers that this document has a duplicate to avoid the double entry. So you can click the show duplicates and verify if it is really a duplicate. Once you verify the duplicate, you can select not a duplicate in order to proceed or keep those two documents or move the one document into the trash once you remove the duplicate you will be good to go to publish your document and create the transaction in your zero accounting software once you completely publish the document it will be removed from the review tab and will be moved to the archive meaning you successfully posted this transaction to your zero accounting software what will happen if you mistakenly input the wrong information that will be used for the automation? For example, you select a wrong account for this specific expense. Or if you want this to be published as awaiting for payment. So you can always update those information by navigating to 
settings and manage your accounts under manage your accounts you can navigate to suppliers and select that supplier from there you can update the information that will be used for the automation once you update the relevant information then don't forget to save the changes so that the automation setup will be updated once you successfully publish a transaction from hubdoc to zero a link will be created and you can use this link to check and verify the information that is being posted in zero the same with zero a link is also created so you can always go back to hubdoc if you wish to republish and update the information from your zero now what will happen if you republish a document for example if you want to update some of the information for example if you want to update some of the information once you republish a document it updates the transaction initially published in zero with the new information it does not create a new transaction meaning it will not create a duplicate transaction it will just override the information to that particular transaction but you can only republish or update transaction in zero if that transaction is untouched meaning if it is still a draft and it's not edited so once the transaction is approved or deleted or voided or reconciled or paid that transaction will not be updated even if we republish the transaction by the way, Habdo consolidate the line items and will capture the amount of the document. As of the moment, Habdo doesn't capture the per line items of the document and you need to do it manually. But we are very positive that capturing of multiple lines on a document will be implemented soon. Now let's head over and update this transaction from consolidated into multiple line items how can you do that so scroll down and navigate to zero so as you can see the line items are always on a single line items meaning it consolidate the line items on the document but if you wish to capture or itemize and allocate to a particular account then click multiple and a window will pop up for you to be able to add the line items and map those expense on a particular account once you added all the line items then click save and close to update the transaction once you verify the information is correct then you can click the republish button now let's head over to zero and have a look on the transaction if it will be updated as well as you can see the transaction is being updated from hubdoc to zero and that is how you publish document from hubdoc to zero now let's try to upload document via email how can we do that first you need to get the unique email address of your hubdoc organization so how can you get that information navigate to your hubdoc organization and under the settings select organization and you will see your unique hubdoc email address you can copy this to your clipboard and start processing or submitting documents via email As you can see after we send the email hubdo directly receive and load and start processing the documents that being received via email and some of the documents are already processed for example the rta 
that we just sent via email so that is how the automation works once you set up the automation the second time you upload the document it will be automated once the data is extracted it will be published directly to your zero so if you notice there are some of duplicate so regardless of the setup even if the setup is automated once hubdoc detects duplicate it will not push through unless you verify that this document doesn't have duplicate all right so now let's check and verify this duplicate so once we select and mark as not a duplicate it will not be automatically published to zero it will not trigger the automation in order to publish those detected as duplicate you need to manually publish those transaction from hubdoc one question does hubdoc capture handwritten yes as long as the document is readable by human eye hubdoc will capture the information to that document you can also add an automated accounts by navigating to your settings and manage accounts under manage account you can add new accounts by clicking the add account and selecting or choosing from the popular companies or by navigating to all companies and selecting the relevant supplier once you select a, a particular supplier then you can log in your credentials for example your zero organization so every time you receive a bill from your zero subscription it goes straight into your Hubdoc. With Hubdoc, you can dramatically reduce the amount of time you spend on repetitive data entry. You can also reduce up to 50% manpower cost for data entry and the same with the storage cost. You will have the visibility and accurate near real-time view of your organization finances which means you gain even more control so you can make more informed business decisions you can also get the assurance that the books are up to date and the bills and receipts are securely and centrally stored once again hubdoc does the work of creating transaction in zero for you it extracts the K data from bills and receipts then uses the data to create transaction in zero. You can also email bills and receipts straight into the Hubdoc organization or use the mobile app to upload a photo. You can also set up automated connection so every time you get a bill from a particular supplier, it goes straight into Hubdoc. So like zero, you can also invite your team into the hubdoc organization and decide how much access you want to give them so with hubdoc you can simplify and go paperless your important financial records are organized automatically for you and backed up forever and available on any devices hubdoc is your secure digital filing cabinet in the cloud Let me cover the reasons why we using Hubdoc is a very much an advantage as an accountant or as a zero organization subscriber. Okay, the first one and the most very obvious and the primary function of Hubdoc would be an, to automate our data capture. So based on illustration of Rudy, it captures automatically from the paper, at least for the electronic document to zero also you would notice that in many cases if it is a new first time you're capturing a supplier you can set up also the required or the default information on that particular supplier so in the next data that is being captured it will just auto populate the text fields and then it will forward to zero now it's up to you if you would want to make it as a draft or as a waiting for payment, meaning an approved status document in zero that you can do. Number two, of course, is automate document attachment in zero. If you are doing this directly in zero entering, you need to still manually attach them to your data entry window in zero. Here, the attachment is done automatically. So it will not only send 
the text captured data, but it will also attach directly to your accounting system the document that is being captured. Third would be automate document backups. So this is backup, okay? Document backup files. So if you intend, for example, if you're submitting all your documents from different methods, so it could be email, using the mobile app, or just simply uploading. Now, chances are there would be a question as whether we have actually organized all the data that we have submitted in one place. So Habdoc has that capacity where it allows us to connect with our Google Drive box or OneDrive no? to back up all the files that we have submitted in Habdoc, the same documents that is being processed in Habdoc. Number four, auto submission of bills from selected network companies. Now, this is very, very big. This particular, and I think this is where I can see the future of where Habdoc will be going. Right, So auto-submission of bills from selected network companies. Now, right now, I will share to you. So here, so it is in manage. Okay, I'll close this. So if I will do, no, um, in settings, in your settings, you would see there are already certain networks of companies already added in Habdoc where maybe you are already receiving an auto invoice. So for example, if you're using Zero, you can connect, you can select Zero here. It's one of the company, okay? You can connect in one of the networks, example, in my example, Zero, and then in, as you know, Zero will be sending to you your monthly subscription bills in your email, right? Here, what would happen if you connect to Zero? Zero itself would directly submit it for you in Habdoc directly. You know? So you don't need to go to your email, find Zero Bill, and then import that, submit that to Habdoc. No. If your supplier is already listed in the network of Habdoc, then there is already an auto integration. Every time Zero would issue an invoice, automatically submit that in your document processing. Now, there are also other suppliers here. So example, GoDaddy. GoDaddy is here. HostGator is also here, right? Blowhost is also here. Of course, you've seen Xerox is also here. Adobe is also here, right? Now, what's the big deal about this? It's a very big deal for us because I think the future of data capture would be still integration. Like I always said in this webinar, the name of the game would always be integration, meaning all different softwares, different companies can integrate and connect to each other in the future in one cloud ecosystem, right? Totally eliminating almost all data entry. So I'll give you for example. So let's say, we have a common supplier, and this is a, a list is growing now, and more list of this is actually still in, in the US suppliers, US companies. But time will come, and I think this is where Habdoc will be going, where maybe our common suppliers, example, I'll give you an example. Maybe Meralco will be added as a company in the Philippines, okay? And your company is receiving Meralco bills. So what happened is without, I mean, Currently, you would receive a Meralco bill and then you go to zero, you input zero and then Meralco, and, or you submit it on Habdoc at least and then data capture directly. So still there's that manual of getting from the email and pushing that to. So there's a manual submission there. Here, if that would happen, and uh, because Meralco is still not listed in this company, but in the future, I mean, years from now, and if this is where Habdoc would be going, Miralco will not only send the, the, the bill to your email, it will also send directly to Habdoc. And this could be true also for your company when, you're, when you have customers who are receiving invoices from you, obviously, because you're sending invoices from you. So they can, if, if um, right now we're still figuring out how to add, let's say LiveSync, we have clients, we wanted to add LiveSync in this list of companies so that all our clients are on zero subscription and connect with Habdoc. Every time we issue an invoice, automatically 
sends that to Hubdoc and then capture that to their accounting system. So it could be that they're also using QuickBooks. So that's because right now there's only zero to zero network integration. But for example, there will be multiple accounting software. Okay. And then it will push data. So this is where I, I see also an, an opportunity for tech you know, to grow. There is no, it's, I think it's only Hubdoc is doing that right now. But I see the potential of this where in the future, we, there will be a platform of a data submission and then all softwares will just connect to that. And then all companies will just connect to that. So then each of the companies like us, we will submit our invoices to that platform. And whoever is connected to that platform gets that data, load that Hubdoc, and then data enters for us. What is the revolutionary uh, innovation there? The innovation is that your supplier is the only one is making the data entry for you already in your accounting system. Of course, you have to put layers of control you know, for your accounting information system. But technically, once your supplier creates an invoice to you and then hit that send button, it sends to the platform. And then let's say if we are using Hubdoc or Zero, for example, that platform pushed to Hubdoc and then Hubdoc captures that data, push that to your Zero as a waiting for payment. All your accountant needs to do is a bank reconciliation. That's the innovation. I see the potential of that. But I don't see very serious tech companies developing on this. But I think there's an opportunity where it will make the accountant's life more convenient. Okay, let me continue. So auto capture of required zero entry fields like VAT or sales taxes. That is also very obvious. It captures all the necessary information in zero, so incl including suppliers, details of your invoice uh, of your supplier invoices and most particularly setting up at the data capture level your VAT no so you can lock a setup on that in hubdoc you can control the data filtering then automatically enters and then it will eliminate double entry in your zero another good thing about hubdoc is its ability to identify uh, duplication. Now, over time, I think we've been using the Hubdoc already for how many years? Four years? Three years already. And his ability to identify duplication has really improved so much. Okay? Now, it has greatly improved and the ability to notify or detect duplication is really, really very effective and very high chance of detecting. Another would be is what great thing is it's free. Okay, if you are a zero subscriber, if you have an organization subscribed to zero already, this is free. You know, before you need to pay $30 for this. So now it's free. If you are using zero and then you want to use Hubdoc, it's free. You know why? Because Hubdoc is owned by zero now. So zero acquired Hubdoc two years ago. Okay, and so far, in any data capture, there are many other data capture softwares available like Auto Entry, which is also owned by QuickBooks. They have their own separate data capture also. But for Zero also, they have Hubdoc. But I feel Hubdoc is there no? earlier than Auto Entry. But Hubdoc so far uh, provides a more, more flexibility and robust solution for data capture. Uh, there's other things like Data Molino, for example. Okay, and Hubdoc also integrates with other accounting software or invoicing software, like we have Bill.com, for example, and of course, QuickBoss also is there. And it has also mobile app where you can download it directly. And because of the mobile app, that could also be your alternative for your employee expense claim submission. So right now, Zero is charging, I think it's $5 per user now. If you use a Zero expense now, if you don't want that, then this is a good option. You can use a mobile app for submission. Of course, it has to go through the regular process in zero, like it should be draft as part of your accounting control so that someone else will have to approve. And then once it's approved, you pay it. You know? like either you pay it from PT cash or directly a bank transfer. So that could this have the, could be an alternative for employee document submission. And then another thing, it's also multi-user. And again, it's free. It does not charge for 
additional multi-user. So if you have a lot of team people in the team that who need to access this, but our recommendation would always that limit control this level, no? Because if you're giving all the way access to everybody, the risk of error is high. So the control to minimize risk of error here, and even fraud, okay, because it's automation, and if you do not control it, then you know it just. But our suggestion is that two things. One is that limit at least one or two people who must take ownership on the processing and updating in Hubdoc. And number two, we also recommend that all data that is being sent to zero would be a draft so that someone can actually approve it in zero. I mean, that's just a recommendation, okay? If it would add layers of control. And then now let's go to Hubdoc limitations. No, I see nine limitations here just for a purpose. And that could be your question also. So one, of course, is if the document is unclear and unreadable document, it cannot really capture. If it's destroyed or teared apart, right? So it's difficult to read. However, I would say also that Hubdoc has improved greatly, and Rudy would agree with me on this. So it captures the supplier name automatically, captures the invoice number automatically, it captures the amount, you know? So it's not just you are inputting it, you know, it automatically captures and they're using it, machine learning here to understand. So as many people will be using Hubdoc and submitting documents, Hubdoc will also grow. Limitation, uh, which is, remains to be a limitation for us, is a multi-line data entry. So here, it does not capture multi-line automatically. You need to still manually input. So what we do, because since we are, unless we are tracking inventory, our procedure would be, we just capture the total amount as a one line, okay? And then we just attach the document. So of course, there's an audit or they want to check the details, they can just open it from zero, the attachment. But if you are tracking inventory and then the inventory line is in the bill, then you have no choice. But before you submit it or publish it to zero, you need to input this manually. So this is a limitation. But we are, like Rudy said, we are looking that in the future, Hubdoc would actually improve this level, meaning it captures a automatic per line. As far as we are concerned, there is still no data entry software that allows us to do a per line data entry. And if there is still not very effective. Third is auto detection if the page is multiple or single PDF. So before, when you are submitting a document, it will just detect one single page, okay? Or it will capture all page and then it will de detect as a duplicate. Now it has improved, right? So what it does is when you submit and it has multiple PDF, it's one file with multiple pages because invoices can be issued multiple pages. Hubdoc actually detect multiple pages under one file, but Hubdoc doesn't capture if there is multiple invoices under one page or one file. Ah, okay. Okay. For example, there is four taxi receipts. Yes, because you, you, you make a photocopy yes. of, like, say, 10 taxi receipts. You attach it in one band paper, and then you scan it. It will not detect as separate yes, invoices. Okay. But if you are submitting a PDF with a multiple page and invoice, it auto detects that all this data and the total is on the last page. It captures that, right? So now that is also fixed already. So that's a good news for us. However, many of our accountants who are adapting digital, uh, okay, some of them, especially for PT cash, for, and, and many accountants would, are actually doing this. If they have small bills in PT cash, they would paste it in one band paper and then they scan it. So that becomes now an attachment. So it will not read. Hubdoc most probably capture only one data and then the others that is being attached inside that image file will not be captured, okay? Also, auto email forwarding in Gmail. So what I wanted was that every time an invoice is emailed to me, I can set up an auto forwarding in Gmail where Gmail detects the sender and says, oh, the sender is Google, for example. Any invoice I receive from Google, right, for my subscriptions, it automatically submits to Hubdoc. So this case, no. Why? While you can set up a forwarding, it is very difficult to verify. So in Gmail, you cannot set up an auto-forwarding unless 
the auto-forwarded email is verified. Now, it's difficult to verify because the email that is given to you, for example, livesync at habdoc.a, which is your submission email, uh, cannot be verified because you have no access to that. So that's a challenge also. Another would be what we would want is we have a system where all our bills are dumped in one Google Drive. And what we would want is that that Google Drive, whatever being uploaded there, is pushed to Hubdoc, right? There is no method of submission from G Drive, Google Drive to Hubdoc. However, Hubdoc can be used as a backup, meaning you already submitted everything to Hubdoc, but it will duplicate in Google Drive. That's fine. Hubdoc to G Drive is fine. But Google Drive to Hubdoc, no. Let me check with Zapier. So Zapier is an integration software. Okay, let me just show you here. If I can actually see integration as Subdoc, no? So let me just explore that. Okay. I will type Hubdoc if that is something I can find. No. So Hubdoc is not available in Zipier where Zipier allows us to do a integration, right? So it's not available yet. So that we cannot do. What I was planning to do was that if I can dump everything in Google Drive, I'll connect Google Drive with Zipier. Then Google Drive, every time we drop our document in Google Drive, it zap and then sends to Hubdoc. However, Hubdoc is still not part of the Zapier integration community. So that is a limitation now. Seven, only English. Filipino, yes, it will because it's, a, it's an alphabetic text. But if it's an Arabic, no. If you're a Chinese, no. Okay? So uh, you, cannot, you cannot get. So if you have suppliers from, with an invoice of Arabic, no, it cannot capture that. And, or if it's Chinese, it cannot also. Okay? Or, for example, some Indian text, no, it cannot also. Okay? And another would be cannot update in zero if data is already approved. So as you know, as Rudy has explained, there is that flexibility where if you want to edit the previously data, you know, the data that you have you know, set up, the capture in Hubdoc, automatically whatever you update there, maybe you change the tax, uh, the, the VAT categorization or the text, automatically it will update in zero as well. However, this will not work if you have set up number one, for example, that the status would be waiting for payment, meaning it is an approved invoice. Or if after it have doc sends the document as a draft, your accountant actually approve it. So if the bill is already approved, it cannot update anymore. Why? Because zero as a part of control, once you approve it, you cannot edit it. Okay. Or at, if it's paid, for example, you cannot edit that anymore. And then, of course, number nine, Hubdoc is still, we are still waiting for uh, you know, an improvement from Hubdoc on this is the reporting. We would want to have a analytics where what, how many documents has been uploaded on a certain X date range or what are the common field supplier document that's not captured. Okay, so we would want that at the analytics. Unfortunately, Hubdoc cannot find that. So my team has to manually check that no? for our control purposes that for particularly for completeness, okay, for completeness purposes, that all what we have submitted is already been processed or if not under review in Hubdoc. So Hubdoc can only provide you not the number, it just show you like processed, reviewed, or archived. That's it, but does not, you know, allow us more flexible reporting.